Hey, what's up my peeps? It's me again. Um, we are picking up again with another episode of Alan Wake. Um, the last episode... And previously on Alan Wake, uh, I'm haunted by the law. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. And then someone fished him out. Cool. Alan, shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. Alice. There you go, Alan. Hartman, I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you're lying. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Fast. It's okay, Alan. Just let go. Sketch. I felt groggy. Like Whatever this. Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. Oh, don't tell me homie snagged on my gear too. The door was locked. I was a prisoner here. I wonder who it is. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. This is... This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right Ooh. now. Jack took them out for a fishing Yo. trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. Easter egg? I like it. I like the Xbox, too. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. Let me shoot you, bro. This way, Alan. experience with you I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode so I'm just going to say this episode Alice is dead no you're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this Alice drowned and you couldn't face that you're suffering from hallucinations paranoid delusions unusual thinking an obsession about light and darkness a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with huge it. Bench. He had to be lying, but under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. 
Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Hmm. I don't trust them. I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. He was lying. Well, no matter. This way. Follow me. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? or because you don't want to admit that you're not well. It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. All, Hartman obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, can't I dug do my nails it into the palms of my hands to stay you focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. Let's go inside. Here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> <laughs> gonna kill someone. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. Generator right there. So power's for sure Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Alan, please, this way. Relax, I'm coming. Okay. Got some moves. Oh. Come, Alan. This way. Now, My dog. you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. <laughs> pause and read that. My rheumatism is killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh! What a storm! I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers. Odin and Tor. They had a... How should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. <laughs> they even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. 
They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. Turkey lettuce cheese. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. No, oh, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short for now, Alan. The power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? Oh, that was... Mm. I'd like to Sus. bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to um. go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. I don't want it. My head was clearing up. Zane could feel the poems taking yeah. form. Or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, I'm convinced the Andersons made more sense. A dream. You yeah. can't wake Good thing up. he's not overreacting or anything. Well, he's the boss. I may need a hand here later on, Birch. The storm's bound to make you know who jumpy. You know how they go. Gotcha. Uh, it's got me looking after ways Something's here, wrong. I'm not myself. I'll do that. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. Hmm. Hey, wait. Why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriters in your room. Get out of here, you monkey. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, wake! You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. The if she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I had to get to Hartman's destiny. office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping them. Come out and face the music, Birch! It's time to pay the piper! That was a real hammer, too. Bitch, that hurt. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, so he is lying. 
The markings on the tape said they were recordings now, Hartman Wayne, had made at the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't believe it. Right. The party is, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent. He's... Do you mean with you? No, not with me. No. Did she check me in here? I... Just get him here. I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, hmm. but doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut up of this. Just a recording. The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. Barry? Ow! About time! Barry! Man, glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no! Wait, the cops found killed. me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else, I'd sue their asses. But this guy, this isn't gonna go. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. If this guy's double-crossing me, I'll be pissed. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the... Tell me one more lie, and I'll shoot you in the face. It's not a face. Ah, oh, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea... Hartman, what... shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together, we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. He's gonna get possessed. Oh, he got out. Oh, I trapped him in there. Possessed bookshelves oh. out of my way. Okay. Bro. I'm gonna die to a floating couch. A lamp. Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to. Oh, does it work? Get upstairs. God, this guy has no endurance. Yeah. 
sir. You are just terrible at your job, aren't you? Sound on it though. I'm not gonna make it. Ooh. Still coming though. 
Could have hit me with that light. I found the car, it's but locked. the gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over Give there. Flashlight. Give Mary, flashlight. I don't have a light. Take this, Al. Sir. Oh God! Look at the house, Al. Look at some light let's break here and i'll catch you guys next episode